It's time to get back into the code to implement the authentication process of our application. To facilitate that process, I will now create a new component. So let's return to Cold Fusion Builder. I will return to my components folder that already contains four components and I will right click on that folder to create a new Cold Fusion component in that folder. So the new component will be the authentication service and we will turn the output to false. Now I click on next because I want to add three functions, three methods inside of that component. So the first one it's going to be the validate user method and this method will simply handle the server side data validation when the form is submitted. So the access type is public, the return type is an array so it will return an array of error messages or an empty array if there is no problems with the submitted data. The output is false and of course it takes two arguments that are the two pieces of data submitted by the login form. The first one is the user email which is a string of text and it is a required argument and the second one is the user password which is also a string of text and which is also required. Now the second function that I want to add in this component will do the heavy work. It is the do login function. This one has an access type of public and it will return a boolean value. So this method will return true if the login process is successful and false if the login fails. The output is false and it takes the same argument, the user email, which is a string of text, and it's a required argument. It also takes the user password, which is also a string of text, and it's also required. The last method will be the do logout method. So this method has also an access type of public. The return time is void, so this method will not return any value and the output is false and this is the function that will handle the logout mechanism that we will implement later. Okay, so I click on OK and on finish and you see that ColdFusion Builder generates the new component here in the components folder and generates the function signature. So let's not forget the commenting best practices here. And let's add some comments. So this is the validate user method. Let's copy paste this one right here. This is the do login method. And right here we have the do logout. Now that the component exists, I will write the validate user method. So remember this method returns an array. So first here I will create using cfset that array that I will call a error messages. We'll make that equal to the array new function of cold fusion and my array now exists. Now I will just add the var keyword here to make that variable local to the function. And at the end of the function I will use cf return to return that a error message array like that to the code that has called that method. Now what I will do, I will first validate the email address and to validate the email address I will use a cf if tag block like that and I will use the is valid function of call fusion. Now the is valid function of call fusion takes two arguments. The first one is the pattern that you want to validate. In this case I want to verify if the data is a valid email address or at least looks like a valid email address. And the second argument is the data that you want to validate which in this case is 
arguments.userEmail. Now, if that is not a valid email address, so I add the not keyword in the if, I use cfset to add something to my a error messages array using the array append method of call fusion and that array append function takes two arguments the first one is the array into which you want to add some data in this case it's the a error messages array and the second argument is the actual data that you want to add so in this case it's a string of text please provide a valid email address like that I will copy paste this block of code because I will need almost the same for the password all right I will check if the arguments that user password is not an empty string like that and if it is equal to an empty string please provide a password and then of course I return this a error messages array and if this array is still empty at the end of the function it means that the data is valid and that I can safely proceed with the logging process itself